is up, Cleveland Browns fans? It's your old friend, Indy Cartim, here with your Cleveland Browns Daily Blitz podcast. Week four of the NFL, Browns versus Raiders. Something's got to give. Uh, welcome into the show. Welcome into Fanstream Sports. You can find us at fanstreamsports.com, the Fanstream Sports mobile app for iOS and Android, and also at Fanstream Sports TV, which is the home on YouTube of your Cleveland Browns Daily Blitz podcast, as well as lots of other great sports program that, that programming that some of, it, some of it involves me, some of it doesn't. So if you don't like me, you'll find some stuff over there that you do like. And if you do like me, you'll find some other stuff that you like. So there you go. Uh, boys and girls, it is a game between two very similar looking teams right now. They're both in very similar spots, and they're both trying to avoid going one and three on the year. The similarities between these two teams are striking. Uh, both teams' star defensive ends are dealing with significant injuries. There have been questions about the long-term solutions of both teams' quarterbacks. And as we said, both teams are at one and two. Uh, the winner of Sunday's game is likely to sort of either renew their season at 2-2 two and two on the year or the loser will probably just be done because only 42 teams have ever begun 1-3 and three and made the playoffs in the history of the NFL since the 1970 merger. Both teams are coming off losses. The Browns, of course, fell apart 21-15 to the Giants. The Raiders got kicked in the butt by the previously winless Panthers as they benched Bryce Young and went with the red rifle, uh, Andy Dalton. Um, And that uh, loss to the Panthers last week sort of prompted some soul-searching in the Las Vegas uh, locker room. It prompted some soul-searching for the players, and it prompted a Monday team meeting. So uh, both teams playing with desperation here, clearly, but also both teams dealing with some major issues uh, Miles Garrett for the Browns, we know he's been dealing with some feet. Uh, he's been dealing with an Achilles tendon that's been hurting him and, of course, a thigh contusion. Uh, the foot injuries, those have been sort of recent, although they spawn, according to him, from a childhood, two childhood surgeries, one on each foot to uh, correct some flat feet, I guess, back in the day. Uh, and oh, I think oh five or oh nine, whatever it was, he was nine years old. Uh, do the math. I don't really feel like it, um, but he says he's a go. He insists he is playing on Sunday, so we will see, and we will see how effective he can be. Uh, the Raiders are preparing for Miles Garrett, just like he's going to be the Miles Garrett that we all know and love, and the Miles Garrett that is the defending uh, defensive player of the year for the NFL. So. Uh, Max Crosby, the star defensive end for the Las Vegas Raiders, did not practice Wednesday because of an an ankle injury he suffered two weeks ago against Baltimore. Last season, Crosby had 14 and a half sacks, but he was held to three tackles by Carolina, and he missed some snaps for the first time this season against the Panthers. And then we can talk about the quarterbacks. Deshaun Watson is rolling through with a 58 Point, a 57.8 completion percentage this season. He's got 551 yards, three touchdowns in his third year since signing that $230 million guaranteed, fully guaranteed contract. On the other side for the Raiders, Gardner Minshew is the starter for now, but Aiden O'Connell is always an option. Um, and that was the name we heard right before the season that we all expected to see under center to start the season. Uh, we know O'Connell from last year. He did start the second half of last season. He went 5-4 and four in the nine games that he started. Um, so, you know, Minshew, three interceptions, a lost fumble, not playing the best, maybe not the best option for the Raiders right now. Watson has taken some heat, though, on the Browns' side for his erratic play through three games. He's among the NFL's lowest-ranked passers, and there have been times – where he has held the ball way too long instead of getting it out to his receivers. He has also missed a number of open receivers early this year. Uh, But when you think about it, the fourth down play in last week's loss, we didn't break it down too much on this show, 
but it was a run pass option in the fourth quarter. He didn't throw to a wide open tight end, Jordan Akins, in the in the flat. Instead, he decided to take off and run. Um, again, it's an option for a reason, but he's supposed to pick the right one. So he's been heavily criticized for that. Uh, both Ken Dorsey, the OC, and the head coach Ke- Kevin Stefanski backed him up and said, you know, it's an option play, and and he made he made a decision. All they can do is look at tape and hope he makes a better decision in the future. Uh, the lack of, a, a lack of a running game is one of the reasons the Raiders haven't been able to establish an offense. They've got nothing. Las Vegas is last in the NFL with 51 yards rushing per game. Zamir White rushed for 397 yards over four starts to end the season last year, but he's been held to just 102 yards over three games this year and is managing just 3.2 yards per attempt. Um, and that's got to be something that the Raiders will be trying to establish early on against the Browns, you would think. So we will see what happens with the Browns and the Raiders. It is Sunday, 425 p.m. Eastern time from Las Vegas, uh, that Allegiant Stadium out there. Uh, we'll have some more injury updates on Sunday before the game for you. When the inactives come out, roughly 90 minutes before game time, we'll we'll uh, we'll post all of those over at Browns Digest for you, the home for Browns football on the Athlon Athlon Sports Network. We appreciate you guys for tuning in over there and checking us out. Oh, you know, a few times a day because we're putting up I don't know 10 to 20 stories a day for you over there, pertinent to the uh, Browns and Ravens this week. And then we'll do some post game stuff, also in game stuff for you on Sunday. You can follow along with us over there as well. But that's going to do it for the Browns Daily Blitz today. I, again, am IndyCar Tim. Let me know what you think about the Browns and the Raiders, either in the uh, comment section here under the video, if you are with us on Fanstream Sports TV, or if you're listening to the recorded podcast. By the way, you can subscribe and give us a great rating wherever you get your podcasts to the audio portion of the Browns Daily Blitz. Uh, Or find me on the X or on threads at IndyCar Tim. I would love to talk to you there about anything and everything Cleveland Browns. Uh, We will talk to you on game day. Until then, boys and girls, we'll see you.